This is going to be a video tutorial on how to run Windows System File Checker using Command Prompt in Windows 10. Let me jump over to my desktop here. I am on my desktop now. To run the System File Checker using Command Prompt on Windows 10, this basically works the same way on Windows 11. First thing you want to do is open Command Prompt in Administrator mode. I'm going to go down to the bottom down here, down to my little search bar. I'm going to place my cursor in there, and I'm going to type in CMD. I'm going to go up to the top up here, where it says Command Prompt. I'm going to right-click on Command Prompt. I'm going to click on Run as Administrator. It'll ask me, do I want this app to make changes to the, the device? I'm going to click on Yes. Now I have command prompt opened in administrator mode. You want to type in capital SFC forward slash scan now. Just like that there. I'm going to hit enter. And this process will take a little while. It, what, what this does is it scans through your Windows system files and it compares them to a cached version of system files that you have on your device and if there's any errors it will automatically repair them and it might ask you to reboot let me uh, wait till this finishes up here okay the process has completed now it says that Windows uh, protection did not find any integrity violations with my computer if it like I said if it did find corruption you might have your reboot if you continue having problems your cached version of system files might be corrupted. And the way to check that, I'm going to place both of these commands down in the description of this video, down below the video. The commands you want to use for this is this right here. Like I said, I'll place this down in the description of the video, but you want to use this command right here. Then you'll just hit enter. And this goes online and it checks your cached version of system files to make sure that they're not corrupted. And this process will take a little while too. Okay, it has finished now. It says the restore operation completed successfully. Then you might want to run the first command again. Capital SFC forward slash scan now. Hit enter. And you can see if that'll, that'll fix your problem maybe. Thanks for watching.